Hey, go uh, ahead. I was just wanting to see what I could do. Uh, they say I've got two girls on my own. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I work at an apartment complex, and the doctors up there at the emergency room told me that I've got two girls on my own. Uh, and where I work at, there's mold now. And I've scraped the walls and the floors and floor doors and all that. But uh, I, I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Okay. Can you hear the, I can hear it, yeah. Uh, Rodney, the answer to your question is going to lie in your medical records and what your doctors say are the source of the, the, the growth that you have on your lungs. Mold claims are possible. You can bring them and you can win them, but they're not easy because what you have to have is a doctor who says that what's going on with you medically was proximately caused by the mold that you were exposed to. And the way those claims are going to be defended is that you're exposed to mold and other things in daily life that don't have anything to do with your job they can be one they are difficult you got to have a doctor on your side and the medical records have got to got to stand up for you mm -hmm. and what's the time frame that he needs to be looking at to, to move forward right you've got a two-year statute of limitations on these claims just like most personal injury claims in alabama so two years really from the time that you're either exposed or you should have known that you had been exposed to mold is going to be your statute of limitations yeah probably going to need to get with a pulmonologist that's right uh, who will be able to diagnose that condition uh, you know, it could end up being, it could end up being a workers' comp claim. That's true. Uh, so, That's true. you know, I wouldn't dismiss it before uh, getting that diagnosis and then, you know, getting with someone talking about it. Mm -hmm.